Good morning everybody. I hope you're all doing super super well. So I am doing a talk through video today because I have some super 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 exciting products to try out and review for you. So I've been super super lucky enough to receive a box of the Zooey makeup products. So I'm just going to read a little bit about this brand. I will of course leave all the information you need down below if you guys do want to check them out yourself. But basically their mission is to create a much greener and much cleaner future. So each day they formulate the most amazing organic products in our Australian manufacturing facility. They are pure, clean, green, all organic and so many vegan as well. And so many like vegan products as well. Their product formulas don't just feel wonderful, they smell incredible and are even better for your skin. So that's what I'm all about as well with makeup guys. Like I want to have something that of course covers the blemishes but is actually benefiting my skin, not hindering it with all the toxins and chemicals and things. That's why I love brands like this. So they have floral infusions and organic super greens to help benefit the skin in their products. So they physically make each and every one of their products so they know exactly what's going into it. Um, and they have 100% transparency at all times, so they know exactly what is happening with their products. They know exactly what's in there. They're not putting any nasty chemicals, nasty things that won't, you know, help your skin. So the way their products are developed, formulated and packaged is also inspired by their love for nature. Whether it be the colour, the style, the scent, the freshly blooming flowers, like on this packaging right here. I love it so much. I think it's so gorgeous. We take so much inspiration from our surroundings and the environment to put into our creation, creation, creation process. And the products you're using are complete with infusions of roses, sunflowers, jasmine flowers, bamboo and more. So it's inspired by nature, created by us. That's what it says. So they're an Australian brand um, that's certified organic like natural, cruelty free, has vegan products as well. They're just really natural. They're good for the environment. They're just everything that I love in a brand. Hence why I'm so excited to try out their products. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, shall we? So they've been kind enough to send me actually like a fair few things. So I could probably do pretty much a full face of makeup using this brand or almost. Maybe there's a couple things that I might use that isn't Zooey, but still. You get the gist. So like I said, I love their little packaging with the flowers and things, the little butterfly. I think it's so gorgeous. So I was also sent an eyeshadow palette. Here's what they look like. They are small in size, but they're great for travel. And I was sent the Havana one. So as you can see, there's a couple of bronzy shades and colors as well. That's why I wanted this one. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to play with. And I could create a glam or a very natural look, depending on what I felt like. I'm interested to see how pigmented these shadows are. Ooh, damn. Oof, baby. So that's the shimmers on. Oh my god, that pink one is gorgeous and I love that bronzy tone. So I was also given a bronzer and a foundation. They have powder foundations. Well, I think they have liquid as well, but I was given a powder foundation, which is interesting because I know powder is a more natural looking, has more of a natural feel to the skin, but it can be built up if it is a good formula. Um, but if I was to wear this, I would always probably keep it quite natural, like for an everyday look. I got the shade Nutmeg. I hope that's my colour. It looks like it. Like I'm not too dark because it's been so cold and wet in winter and everything. So we'll see if nutmeg's my shade. But it looks like it is. Like, it looks pretty close. And the bronzer shade I got was in the colour Sun. And I do think that matches so good. Ooh, I hope that's not too orange, though. We'll see. And they were sweet enough to give me a primer as well. So this is the Certified Organic Flora Foundation Primer. Oh, isn't it cute? This is how the foundation, like liquid foundations look, I saw on their site. But it comes in this cute little like, it's like plasticky, but not plasticky kind of bottle. Oh, this feels nice. And it's a colour corrective primer. So any redness that I may have on my skin, hopefully that should colour correct. And heal, like cover up these little bad boys. My little scarring, we'll see. So I'm actually going to test out the primer on one side of my face, probably this side with the most redness and breakouts and things, just to see how it wears throughout the day if you had a primer on with the powder foundation and if you didn't have a primer on. I like to do that, especially when I'm testing products out 
um, like initially like a first impressions. Um, if you've seen any of my other first impressions, I do similar thing. So I'm just rubbing that into my skin, just on the what side of my face is this? My right side. It gives a nice feel of like hydration to the skin too, and it's like even a bit like of a cooling effect, just slightly, just slightly. It feels really, really nice on the skin. Oh, oh, it gives it a really nice glow. Oh, so I'm just gonna let that sink in to the skin. So next I'm taking the foundation, the powder one in the shade Nutmeg, and I'm just going to go in, it's got a mirror on it, so that's handy if you're traveling as well. These products are really handy travel size wise because they are so small. And I'm actually just gonna go to town and build that up. And I'm just going in with the powder foundation brush from Nude by Nature. The colour is like a little bit too dark for me. I definitely did not pick out the right shade. Like for summer, hell girl, this would be fine. Like honestly, I get this tan in summer. But for winter, oh the lord. I'm not this brown, so I am just going to bring it down my neck. Luckily, I wear a lot of high necks, so it doesn't matter too much. I just look like I've whacked bronzer all over my skin. Really. It's not really anything to do with the formula at the moment, it's more to do with my colour choice, honestly. It's pretty sheer coverage as you guys can see, like my breakouts and things aren't covered up at all. It's more just giving you, like really it's just giving me colour to my skin. I switched to a different brush too because I just felt like the Nude by Nature was applying it too heavy in one spot. It's a bit too thick so I went for more of this sheer cover studio brush honestly though i haven't worked with a lot of powder foundations so i actually need to get better utensils for my powder foundations i actually don't mind a good powder foundation for a soft look god i actually that shade is literally too dark on my skin don't i just look like i've just self tanned <laughs> i don't want to build it up too much because i don't want to make myself look like i've just spent 10 hours in a tanning salon so that should be good it does look really nice like on the places that I don't have my scarring. Like on this side of my face, oh, it's a dream. Like I don't have many scars or pimples or anything and it just sits so beautifully. Oh, it doesn't look like it's mattified and like giving me like a matte flat look. It actually just sits really beautifully on the skin. It hasn't sunk into my forehead lines or anything like that. But it just doesn't cover up anything like that so I'd say this is about like I'd say a sheer coverage like a natural coverage it's not full coverage at all but as you guys can see girl did it give me color or what like that definitely gives you some coverage and definitely has some pigment to it whoa like you guys see the difference from my natural color right now to the foundation shade how funny is that I did not pick my shade properly oops so I'm going to go quickly just fill in my brows just real quick because I haven't got any brow products to show you so I don't see the point. So I'll be back in a second. So I just went and did my brows and I was like concealed and applied some powder around my eyes. Nothing crazy. Didn't touch up the foundation or anything. Just like from applying that primer and everything, I do feel like the primer does like have the foundation sitting a lot smoother than like no foundation, like no primer. Uh, I just feel like it sinks into my pores a little bit more on this side. Then, even though it's a color corrector, it's not a pore filling thing. I just, I do feel like on this side, it's sitting on the skin a lot smoother. It hasn't sucked into my pores or anything. Whereas this one, it's not sitting on my skin as smooth. So primer is a definite recommendation. Anywho, let's move on to the bronzer. Before I move on and do the eyes, I just want to get the skin kind of down pat get that kind of done so I'm going to bronze and kind of like give myself a bit of a contour with this product this is the Sun yep the Sun bronzing powder and it's actually got a little bit of like sheen to it a bit of shimmer can you see there so it's a kind of like glowy bronzer oh they give me life so I probably won't use like highlight or anything if I've got a glowy bronzer on the skin you know what I mean god I just realized I am so bright right now I'm sorry is that better so I'm going to take my handy dandy little bronzing brush 
dipper in there. I'm a little bit scared to go in because it's the foundation is so pigmented. I'm not sure if the bronze is really pigmented too. So we'll see. I might just start off a little bit light and build up. Like a natural brand to have such pigmented products, like I kudos to them. Wow, that is really pigmented. Like that is amazing to have such a pigmented range of products when you're using such natural ingredients. It means I have to be a little bit like light-handed, a little bit more light-handed when I'm applying my product. Oh god, that gives such a nice glow. Holy shit. But I just I know I didn't really need a bronzer considering my foundation was pretty much my bronzer. Mm. I just feel like I'm making myself look like an Oompa Loompa. Start off picking the wrong foundation and then look, it's just downhill for me from there because everything I apply on top, I just don't need. But I have to say, this bronzer is so pretty. Shit. Oh my god, it's so nice. Oh, I honestly, to be fair, I literally would just whack this bronzer all over my skin as like my everyday makeup look. Literally, it's so nice. It has such a gorgeous natural glow. Doesn't look like I applied half, like highlight to my skin, but it gives me the highlight glow. That's all I want in life. Oh, and if you just applied it through your crease as well, it would give such a nice little natural bronzy, like, smoky eye look to your skin as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring this down my neck. You know what I think I might do? I'm going to wet my beauty sponge and try and melt these products into my skin because this look is not working for me, this kind of muddy look that I've created for myself. I feel like this lighting makes the bronzer look worse than what it is in real life. Especially on this side. This side's not too bad. Boom, but then you hit this side, you're like, damn, what did you do? So I'm just going to try and soften this up. I went too heavy-handed, even though I said I was going to be light-handed. And then I went too heavy-handed, so I just need to... I just need to soften this blend. I mean, at least it took away from my little spots, so that's good. Now I just look like I've applied a bronzer helmet on my face. <laughs> like that glow oh my lord kill me now this is so pretty oh because i've had um shimmery bronzers in the past and it's just like flecks of like shimmer and i'm just like like that's not what i want i don't want to look like i have glitter or anything on my face whereas this one it's just so finely milled that it looks like like a glow to your skin it doesn't look like you applied highlight or anything like that and it gives a colour to your skin as well as highlighting at the same time. Definitely recommend the glowy uh, bronzer, guys. Not the matte one. I mean, I haven't tried the matte one, but I'm loving this one. Like, the products themselves look so good on the skin. It's just the fact that I have the wrong shade to begin with. But honestly, right now, actually, it doesn't look too bad. I'm actually alright with it. It's looking okay. Okay, now for the exciting bit. This is the... I'm just such an eyeshadow, like, fan, like, fiend. I just freaking love new palettes, creating new products and things. Creating new products. Creating new looks and things. So I'm keen to try out the Havana um, eyeshadow palette that they've given me. So, do I want a more bronzed look? No, I think I might use the colours. I think I might try the colours today. So, like, a pinky, kind of, like, what do you call this? Like, purpley, smoky eye. Feel. I don't know. We'll see how we go. So these are all shimmers, which I do love. Like, I'm always about, you know, a good shimmery life. But I do always wish that they had one matte shade, especially to just chuck through the crease. So I'm going to just start with this shade all over my lid. So I'm going to go in with an Eeg Show eyeshadow brush, the 831. And I'm just going to take that shimmery purple shade and just pop her all over my lid. I'm just going to use my finger because my eyeshadow brushes are not picking up the pigment as well as I want them to. Let me just zoom you in. <laughs> See how pretty that shade is? Mmm, she's delicious. It feels uh, a little bit more grainier than the eyeshadows I've worked with in general but that's just probably because it's more of like a natural product. Hence why my eyeshadow brush probably wasn't picking it up as well as I would like. Just because it's a little bit more grainier than creamy. Like it's still creamy to the touch but it is a little bit more like I don't know how you describe it. Like yeah, grainier in the palette. But to saying that, God she's a beautiful colour. I'm just going to take some of these two shadows on a pencil brush and apply them to the brow. This one is definitely quite pigmented as we can see. Oops. 
Might I apply some of that pink shade actually that I just use on my lid and apply it to the top of my brow, like the very high point, just because like those bronzy tones aren't as light as I want them to be. Whereas that pink is probably the lightest shade. Like that pinky purple shade that we just put on our lid is like the lightest shade in this palette. Ooh, I actually don't mind that, that's cute. On a more petite crease brush like this one, I'm just going to dip into this pinky, reddy, pinky, burgundy shade. And I'm just going to kind of drag it out, crayon like that, like editorially kind of looks. I see it give a bit of depth to the, to the crease and the eye a little bit more. It's kind of why it's hard with shimmer, especially if you're a more mature aged woman or man. It's kind of harder to work with shimmer, especially in the crease, because you do have, you know, mature skin. So it settles into those fine lines a little bit more. That's why it's always better to work with matte through the crease. Whereas when you're younger, and you can get away with it a bit more, but I always prefer a matte through the crease. See what I mean? Like, especially on this eye, the, if it's shimmery, it just like sh creates these shadows and things that just doesn't sit nicely when... And try and create a look, hence why I prefer mattes and then like a shimmer on the lid kind of look. But of course guys, you could definitely mix and match palettes. Like there's always a trillion and one different eyeshadow palettes that have mattes in them and you can just use a shimmer for each day if you want to change up the look. You don't have to use all the shimmers at once like I am, but this is like a first impressions kind of video so I thought why not try all of them at once. And I'm just going to grab those two bronzy tones and wiggle them under my eye. For a natural makeup brand, these shadows are so pigmented, they blend out so smoothly, and they apply really nicely to the skin. I'm grabbing a little bit of that uh, burgundy shade, I'm just gonna apply that to the outer, the outer corner of my bottom lash line. And just for my inner corner, I'm applying some of that bronzy tone, just this one. Just with my finger, I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of wing liner. I know this isn't zooey, but I just want to just define up these lash line, this lash line a bit more. I just applied like a little bit of wing liner just across my lids, just to define the lash line up a little bit more. Might even just like grab some of Sun, which is the bronzer that we used before, and just go kind of extend out that outer whoosh bit that we created with the eye lifts the face a little bit more. It's a subtle trick to just kind of give a bit of to the face. I didn't say before but I do like that it's a push and it unlocks into the foundation or into the bronzer. I hate the ones where they're like you have to get your nail underneath and flick it. So the packaging for this you just like push this little uh, button and it literally just lifts the lid up. It's so handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes and mascara and all that jazz on so I'll be back in a momento. Okay guys, so I've just applied my lashes and like applied some mascara and curled them. So these are the Anitude lashes in the style Feisty. Anywho, to continue on with the eyes, I'm actually just going to keep it real simple. So I'm just going to take a nude eye coal and apply that to my waterline. And then just taking some of my mascara and literally doing the lightest coat. Anyway, I'm going to quickly finish up my lips just to show you guys what I'm going to use. It's not, again, they're not Zooey products, they're just normal products. So to quickly line my lips, I'm taking my itty bitty lip liner. I'm just using my natural lip liner from Rimmel in the shade 049 Natural. And lining them and also filling them in. And I'm actually going to take my Burt's Bees lipstick. I've not used this in like a hot minute. This is the 500 Nile Nude. If you guys are interested in looking into other natural brands, Burt's Bees is another one. Then as a lip gloss over top, I'm taking the Napoleon Purtis Pink Lip Gloss. I am obsessed with these glosses, honestly. It's so, so good. Ooh, 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 ooh. today's look is complete guys so this is the finished makeup look however I will check in with you guys at the end of today when I start to take off my makeup by no means is this like full coverage as you guys can see you can still see my breakouts and things through the foundation is a very more like 
natural glam look but those are my kind of daily makeup looks like I do not wear like a full face of like a full coverage makeup I prefer something like this that's my skin but better but yeah anyways I'll check in with you guys in eight hours or so so I'll see you then honey hello everybody so I'm back it's currently 5 p.m. so it has been on for the full eight hours my overall skin is looking fan diddly -astic. honestly it looks so so good uh, my makeup is today the eyeshadow literally guys has not creased at all and my lids don't look oily but yeah it's the only thing is that my oils have started to seep through so I'm looking a little greasy that's it so this guys concludes today's first impressions slash full face of natural makeup or zooey organics makeup i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash review i love trying out all these goodies and things i oh, i honestly am such a big supporter of like natural sustainable makeup i just think it's so important to be conscious of what you put on your skin especially if you're wearing it for long periods of time and if you're a sensitive acne prone skin girl like me these products will be beneficial because you're not going to get the harsh chemicals and things inflaming your skin but yeah i do hope you guys enjoyed today's video please give a big thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you'd like to see next don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you guys can join my youtube fam and you can stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials i love you all so much thank you for staying tuned and i'll see you very very soon bye my loves